In this video we're going to take a look at how to use subject knowledge audits and you'll find examples of these on the Padlet that you can use that also gives you an idea about how you might make your own if there aren't any for other subjects that you'd like to use them for. This is an example um, form of a subject knowledge audit. So what you can do is you can break your topic down into the sub points and then rag rate it. So red if you're really unhappy about it. Amber if you think yeah it's okay or green if you're feeling really confident with it and what we want to do is we want to revisit these different subtopic points at different points across our learning so what we've got here is a um, graph showing the forgetting curve and this shows that the more times we review it then the longer we can leave a gap between reviews but it's really important that we continually review this, even if we think it's green at one stage, we might forget it by the time it comes to further checks. So it is really important to think, do are we confident with each of these topic points? Spacing out our learning over time is much more effective than last minute cramming the night before the exam. So making sure we are starting our revision early enough making sure we're reviewing it over a period of time so that we are retrieving it multiple times and as we can see in that forgetting curve so that we can retain it in our memory for longer periods of time.